Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best starter Class A gas motorhomes in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Forest River FR3 model 32 DS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you the FR3. We haven't had one of these on the show in forever. When I say forever, I think like four years. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. Uh, I want to thank everybody that we met at the Tampa RV show. Yes. You guys are amazing and awesome, and we had a great time. Yes. Um, also, uh, there is something that RV1 is doing that's very special for just Matt's RV Reviews customers. Andrea, not just RV1, RVR. RVR. Our whole nationwide network of dealership. For the next week, they're extending all show pricing. Awesome. Guys, sorry that was a lot. Andrea, let's begin. It was a lot, but it's important, it's am I important. right? It's important, absolutely. I would want to know. Model is Forest River FR332 DS. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 33 feet 11 inches. This is the Forest River FR3. It is their entry level motorhome, but I love it. It's super popular just because of all the value that you're getting. It's one of their best sellers. Also, what we were talking about, you ask an RVR dealership, they're, they're not gonna know what you're talking about. It's only in Matt's RV reviews that they're extending the show prices for a week. So make sure you contact us. But the FR3 is super popular. I love the way it looks. I love the way it's designed and uh it's just one of the best looking entry-level motorhomes out there this is on since it's 2022 it sits on the f53 chassis and it does have the new 7.3 liter v8 it is the godzilla engine 350 horsepower 468 pound feet of torque cameras on the left side and right side also in reverse nice black mirrors here and then look at these tires right the goodyear tires i love those 245-70R19.5. Those are some shiny rims they right sure there, too. Are. Coming on down the side here, you can see that there is a power awning with LED lights right there. Very little, though. Yes, yeah, little awning because you're, you're losing all that space right there. And then right here, Andre, is where a TV is. Speakers on the outside here. And then right here, you can see your auto leveling and some batteries. Okay. Now this isn't gonna give you fantastic storage. Good storage, but not fantastic. Cause again, they're trying to cram a whole bunch of stuff into this little space. But I think they do a fantastic job doing that. Pass through. Yep, making the best out of the wow. situation. Here's your water heater right here. Traditional water heater. Okay, this is just gonna be uh, an access point. Um, you know, nice slide out on this side. And again, the two windows, that is the bunk beds. Super nice and great for families. Right over here, a little bit more storage down below. Right there, Andrea, this. Propane quick connect. Propane, yes, ma'am. Do you want to have a barbecue? Now this storage is all right. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. look at this. Yeah, very That's nice. That's awesome, I like that. Yes, ma'am. And then coming around the back. Oh, dang nabbit, Andrea, no bumper first. Thank you, Slinky. Oh, double dang nabbit. No uh -oh. ladder to get up on the roof. Uh, you do have the backup camera there. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. But, uh. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean. I guess it really is. Ladders are really, a, there's mean, a shortage, right? Even though even though our promotion with the U-Step's over, I mean, listen, guys, we weren't lying. Still, you can always get a U-Step. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Look at, this. look at this. Impressive. So nice. Wow. This storage is amazing. So, guys, here's what's really great. Uh, the last time we did an FR3, even though it was a little while ago, this was something that was very frustrating to me. It didn't have an auto transfer switch. They're now adding that. So what I mean is the older FR3s, you either plugged it in to 30 amp or you plugged it into the generator, which was really annoying. Now, when the generator kicks on, auto transfer switch nice. just knows 
to have the power run on that. Very nice feature. I'm glad that they did that. Now I gotta find a new dislike because <laughs> that was an easy dislike for me. Very nice storage right there. Okay. Okay. Right over here. The wet bay. Yep. Outdoor shower. Very black simple. tank flush. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Very nice. And we got the other side of the pass through storage right here. Yes, ma'am. I like the slam latch doors. Oh. It's gonna have the Yamaha generator right there. Very nice, 5,500. This is a 50 amp motor home, and you didn't see it, but there is two AC units on the roof. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Then your propane's here, Andrea, and then all the specs, bing, right there so everybody can see it who is watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of the FR3 looks fantastic, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Oh, be careful, Matt. It's hard to skip off the rock. You're just hobbling there. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's get our CCC. Which I think is over here, probably. Yeah. All right, everybody. Slide is in. Three thousand ninety-four pounds. Wow, that's impressive. Sure is. Okay, so here we go. Slides in. Look at this little walkway, but doable. Opens up when you get through here, and yes, you can definitely open the refrigerator. Oh yeah. Come through here. It gets a little tight with the bunks, but we can get in the bathroom, and then uh oh. It's very tight through here where the master bedroom is, but you can still get through. Yeah. And you can use the bed with the slide in, which is nice. Yes, and Andrea, as you know, we just got done the Matt's RV Reviews Awards and RV Life, our sponsor, had a promotion. They're also extending that promotion till the end of the month. Awesome. Let, let's show everybody what RV Life's all about. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at how big and spacious wow. it feels now. So, so nice. You know where we're starting, right up front here in the cockpit area. So right up front here, Andrea, the 7.3 liter V8. Very nice cockpit area. Look at this, I feel like a commander. Cup holders here, auto leveling there. Very, very nice. Why is my Siri always coming on now? Right here we do have the, uh, the driving steering wheel, dash right there, your cameras, left side, right side, and reverse side, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, power shades and everything for up front. Everything, everything's facing me. I love that. Andrea. I really like how this is small too. The yes. Dog okay, so we do have a place for the pedestal table to go in the middle. Yes, right and there. Both these seats do swivel. They certainly do. The living area. And then look at how much feet space you have. If you have oh, huge yeah. feet. Where's the thing? It's gonna be a manual one, so it's yeah, gonna be tricky I can't to find. find it. Yeah. But anyways. Look at this. Wow. This is nice. It is. And you actually have a lot. You can put stuff in here too. Yep. Which is pretty cool. I got yeah. a cup holder. And you guys, the seat is pretty comfortable. Yep. A mirror right there. So while you're driving, you can have conversations. Uh, windows right here. 
Oh, uh, we do got privacy shades as well. Very nice. Here's what I love about this bunk Speakers system. Speakers too. So we do have a bunk over the cab. Oh, I was thinking that was going to be manual. Yeah, no. Uh, I think it only holds 350 pounds. Um, and I, that's funny. I'd say only like that's not a lot. I mean, that's still a lot. And then show, show what's going on up there. Okay, so up here, you can see back there, there's some cubbies. Uh, we got the speakers. This is actually pretty big. I was thinking it was going to be more like a single. Yeah, I've seen it smaller. It's, yeah, it actually is a pretty good size. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they did a they did a good the job with this. here. Yep, I'm not going to climb up it because there is not a lot of headspace. But I'm going to leave it down because I'm going to mention some things about it a little later on. Then check out what we got going on here at the dinette. Nice. Oh, storage we got some storage. Underneath. Right. Very good on both sides. Okay. Oh. Yes, ma'am. The table does drop down to make a bed. Here's what I'm liking. See the little back cushion there? Yes. Very fantastic. Cup holders here. Again, this does drop down make a bed. You got your TV right here and then blinds on both sides. But, again, this, so, even though I don't have a good angle at the TV right here, this is where I'd be sitting when we're driving down the road. I'd have my laptop on the desk while Dre is driving. I'd be cruising down the highway in this. Very nice. And then across is a big window, which I like because that's your campsite. So you can see what's going on outside there. Cabinetry oh, like this, very don't like the cabinets. Yeah, like why don't that. you show that? Very different and unique. Um, and we got a shade here too. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Looks like little puzzles, doesn't it? Do you like it? Um, it's okay. It's not bad. Okay. I actually, you know, it's it's kind of neutral. Perfect. Um, yeah. I so mean, right here we do got the got. sofa. What the heck style of sofa? I have no idea. That's what I was thinking oh, when it's I saw a jack it. Knife. Okay. It's for the non-paying customers. But again, it's not it's not horrible because this is because of the bunkhouse version of the uh of the bunk room. And Andre, do you mind showing us the kitchen? Okay guys, look at this kitchen. Love it. Uh we got cabinet here. I do like the cabinetry. We got a magic chef microwave. Yes. No, look at this. This is great counter space. Yes. Okay, look at that. Uh -huh. Extra counter space just in case you need that. And then you got a nice big drawer. Nice. Here. And two more drawers down here. I like this backsplash. Yes. Very cute. That is actually a Tesseract backsplash. That is adorable. We have a Suburban three burner propane cooktop. Yeah. With the glass cover. And then we have an oven. Good size. Yes. And another drawer here. And for those of you who don't know what a tesseract is, that's the fourth dimension. So <laughs> we can only view this in a two-dimensional space. We can't imagine what the fourth dimension looks like, <laughs> but that's kind of a representation of it. You're silly. Next level, guys. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have start a new channel of the fourth dimension, um, oh, but no. some good stuff. All right, up here we have uh, more storage. And got a cute window here. Yes. We gave you a shade. Again, with the backsplash, very cute. And look at this, more counter space. Yes. All right, we have a nice size sink, residential okay. style. Very nice. Cutting board. And we've got, okay, so cabinet. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a lot that's of That's a lot of cabinetry. And then just in case you don't have enough room. What do you do? You have this. Very nice. Very, very nice. I have to say I'm impressed. Oh, right up here we have our power fans. You struggling there, Grady? I'm always struggling with these. Come on. I have to figure out how to close them. And Matt? Nope. We're, oh, we're, there we there go. There you go. You uh, did it, Andrea. We're I proud know. of you. Wow, finally. We're proud of you. Okay, so over here, look at this. You really have nice. this big refrigerator that runs off your propane and your show power. But it kind of gives you like a residential style like mm, for the room. Yes. Look at that. Nice size, especially when you have families and you got to, you know, grocery shop for a few weeks. What's even crazier is. Look at this. They're still giving you pantry space. Oh my gosh. Insane. Come over here and see this. We're seeing it. 
That's that's we incredible. Are seeing that. I am I am very impressed right now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Cool. And then over here, Andrea. Like the panel. Yep, little panels here. Solar on the roof. But the bunk area is freaking awesome. Look at this. Nice bunk area. The bunk oh, area flips wow. up. Okay. Bottom bed right here. It's like this. It's like a little jackknife sofa. The reason why is because <gasps> because the kids can be sitting here playing video games, watching TV. Super unique, super different, and I believe, Andrea. I believe <gasps> that their seatbelts oh, here. Oh my goodness! So the kids could be sitting back here watching TV, playing video games as you're driving down the road. How cool is that? I love that. Pop holders. Yeah. And then Matt. Here, let me hold. Oh, you got it. Okay, so they you have a cabinet up here too. Yes. This is so cool. This is very. Uh, and I think. Oh wow! Look, ooh. that opens too. Yeah, not much. But still. Something's better than this nothing. This is awesome. Yeah. I love that. Then over here. Okay. Hey, look at this. Good size shower for this motorhome. Little step up. It's a 36 by 24. Nice sky dome, nice glass shower. You know, I think they did a decent job in here. It, it could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. Especially for this price point. Okay, over here we have a cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then we've got a little bit of counter here. Cute little square uh, rectangle sink. I love these sinks. Mm -hmm. Cabinet under there. Yes. Uh oh. I'm Whoa. feeling you're not going to like that toilet. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It looks porcelain to me. Does it? Yes. It's plastic. Porcelain. Wow. I will say my niece a little close. But again, Andrea, I have to look at this. Like, if this was like a tier four motorhome, maybe not. This is tier one, this is entry level, Andre. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Good job. Forest I'm impressed. River. No, FR's doing good. Good job, Forest River. Okay, look at the entryway going into the master. It's pretty big right there. Yes. Got a the sliding door. door. Yes. Coming wow. into the master. King size bed, Andre. Look at that. King size bed. We got the pantry space all the way around. Power USB on both sides. Great to put a seat up there. Love this huge windshield right there. Don't you love that? I do. Windshield. And why do I call it a windshield? I don't it's know. A rear shield. There's a wardrobe or something right here. A, a cabinet. Let's check it out. What's this back window called? It's a window. It's a rear just, window. Just a window. Rear window. So no windshield. No. Got it. Nice storage right there. We got those cabinets. And then we've got a little wardrobe. Yeah. Okay. And look at, oh my goodness, Matt. Look yes. at the six drawers. Very, very I'm nice. Very, very impressed right now. All right, we got this right here. Okay. Nice storage. And then okay. we've got another wardrobe right here. Yes, yes. Nice drawers, nice storage, nice everything. And Andrea, this is just overall a very nice yes. unit at a nice price. And first, I almost forgot. Oh, oh I almost forgot about drawers. underneath. There is drawers. Oh wow! And then look at these sheets, Andrea. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but this is very <laughs> universe-like. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm just saying that there's some next level dimension stuff going on at Forest River. Um, and again, this is just a great unit at a great price. And we're going to tell everybody the MSRP in, in just a few moments. But first, Andrea, it's time we give everybody three things we oh, love about this unit tough. and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay. Okay. First things first. I have all three, actually. If okay. You, if I mean, do you have one? Uh, of course. Oh, well, okay. I'll let you go then. First thing, since I'm back here, king size bed. Yes. Love it. Big bedroom. Pocket door. Listen, this motor home is designed to carry your families, to sleep a lot of people. But the masters of the motor home, the paying customers, mom and dad, however you want to call it, the person who's paying the monthly payment, deserves to sleep comfortably in a king-size bed. 
That's why I love this. That is number one. Andrea, number two. Okay, I have to say, I'm very impressed with all the storage in here. Yeah. Just for this being a family motorhome. Right. I mean, the storage is incredible. And I'm in love with the pantry myself. I'm going to combo so that. That big fridge. Great. Yes. With a pantry. I can't believe they were able to give you both. Absolutely. So that's number two. And then, Andrea, number three, obviously, is this bunk yes. in the area. For when you're driving down the road, it's amazing. The kids can actually sit here safely with seat belts. I mean, that's what it's, it's all so about. Cool. And I'm going to give you another half like because it's also going to be my dislike. So, dislike number one. The bunk over the cab here is kind of lame. Um, it doesn't hold a lot of people. It's not a lot of headspace. And this is one of the worst um, setups. setups for a bunk over the yeah. cab. With that said, mm -hmm. there's also something I like about it. Things break in motorhomes, especially entry level motorhomes. You know, but in every motorhome, it they is break. what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. What is nice about this, if this bunk over the cab doesn't want to go back up, I'm not saying you should. Actually, I'm telling you don't drive with the bunk over the cab down. But me personally, I could make it. You see what I'm saying? It's not obstructing my view. Again, I wouldn't do it, but if you had to pull off the road or get somewhere safe, you definitely could. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That is the first thing that, well, no, that's something that I do like about this. But again, overall, the bunk over the cab is one of my dislikes. Andrea, dislike number two? Oh, I gotta say, I am not a fan of these cabinets. Yes. It's not the, no, 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 no. It's not the look of them. The cabinet's great. What's it's, up with the door placement? It's, exactly. It's them coming open this way. Yep. Uh, I can just see myself putting stuff in. In your and arm. My is good. arm, or I break it. Yep, nope, that's know? exactly what's gonna happen. Look, you put it in. Yep. Your arm is yep. going to go or here. I'm pulling stuff out. And it's gonna rip out. Exactly, just not a good idea. Dumb, 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 yeah. and dumb. Okay, so that's number two. And then, Andrea, what do we have for number three? Oh, gosh. Dislike. It's tough. It I, really is. I think I do have one. And I didn't mention this earlier. And you know what? I am going there. As much as I love this setup and everything, the bottom bunk will be, since it's a jackknife, and since there's those cup holders there, it will be an uncomfortable sleep for them. But again, it's for a kid. They'll be fine. <laughs> you know. Well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is. So do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is... $176,236. Andrea. MSRP. MSRP. That is not sale price. Andrea, as everybody knows, we are now with RVR. We're selling it for a lot less than that. We're selling it for a better price than the Tampa show had it. And listen, guys, doesn't matter. All you have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that first contact tab. Let us know that you're ready to buy this unit or any unit. Or let us know if you bought from a different dealership at the Tampa show. We are going to use everything in our power, the Matt's RV Reviews community power, to get you guys the absolute best price. Andre, anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Horse River does read the comments, and they do watch the videos. Yes. So make sure you leave feedback. Um, thank you guys for coming to the Tampa RV show. Yes. It's nice to meet you. And I hope everybody is safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.